everyone. So today I'm going to be unboxing the new 14 inch MacBook Pro. I got the one in space gray. This actually came out back in October of last year. But if you're watching this, you probably know how expensive it is. Recently it went on sale by about $200. So I decided to go ahead and buy it and take advantage of that and get a new laptop. So if you are looking for a sale on this, definitely not Apple. I don't think they ever put anything on sale. I would say to check with third-party retailers, Target maybe, Best Buy, even Amazon, but I I don't know why I just don't feel comfortable buying a laptop from Amazon, but I do know that they do have sales. So just make sure that, you know, it's from a legit seller and that they have a good return policy and everything. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to the unboxing. Let me set this up here. All right, here is the laptop. Go ahead and open it. Kind of stuck there. This little pool tab. So before we get to the laptop, I actually want to do the accessories. Um, so we have the little pamphlet here. Uh, let's check out the black stickers. And here are the black stickers. So these are kind of cool. All right, so then we have the charging brick. I believe this is 67 watts. Yeah, six, this is a 67 watt charger. Power adapter, I should say. So let's go ahead and open this. All right. And then we have here the, the charger which is a braided charger. Yeah, this is packaged <laughs> kind of different. Oh, and they brought back MagSafe. So that's going to be cool testing that out. I really like MagSafe because if you ever trip over your computer charger, you don't want your whole computer falling with you. <laughs> so it's nice that it just detaches. All right. And here's the braided cable. So here we have the laptop. So I just thought I'd bring you guys back while I peel this uh, because this is definitely the most exciting part. So I want to first mention that in many reviews that I watched, it said that this computer was very heavy. I personally don't think it's that heavy. For the power that this machine has, I feel like it's justified. It's not ridiculously heavy because the old one I had was actually a 2012 MacBook Pro and I feel like that weighed a lot more than this one. This one still feels kind of slim, not like a MacBook Air or something, but it feels lightweight still to me. It's, I would say it's like a pretty average weight and it's a powerful laptop. All right, so let's get into it. I don't want to get any <laughs> fingerprints on this, um, but here it is. So the space gray laptop and oh, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. And then the MacBook Pro on the bottom. Guys, honestly, it's been so long since I've had a new laptop that I was excited about. And it, it looks so small, to be honest, like I know People are saying it's bulky and all that, but it just looks so small to me. So before I open it up and everything, I just gonna, I wanna go over the ports and stuff because they did bring back the ports this year. Well, 2021. So we have the MagSafe charger port right there. We have the two Thunder, Thunderbolt 4 ports. Then we have the, um, the cable for the headphones. Um, we have an HDMI outlet. Um, another Thunderbolt 4 port, and then the SD card. So, yeah, nice to have some ports there. And the fans aren't at the, oh, sorry. The fans aren't at the bottom anymore, from what I remember. I don't know if they've changed this recently, but the fans are on the sides. So I feel like 
that is kind of helpful because if you have your computer down, it's not, the air can still flow. So it's nice having it on the sides. I think I want to change the camera angle so that you could see the actual computer setup now. So let me move the camera and I'll be right back. All right, let's go ahead and turn this on. Oh my gosh, there it is. Let's take this off. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. It's so pretty. I turned up the ring light so that you could see the laptop itself without there any reflections or anything. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm pretty sure my emoji was a giraffe and I thought it was cute. So I'm going to keep it as a giraffe. <laughs> so this one doesn't have the touch bar on the top. And at first, before seeing this computer in person, I thought I would want the touch bar, but I really don't mind it not having it. Ooh, the Touch ID. Touch ID is ready. All right, so here comes the question. I say dark mode always. So this is what it looks like and let's customize some things. So let's see system preferences and there's something I wanted to change with the trackpad. So I use Windows computers for work. So I'm very used to being able to right click. So I want the secondary click instead of being with two fingers, I want it to be in the bottom right corner so I could right click. All right, what else? Actually, let's open up photo booth. So this is actually a feature me doing this photo booth portion of the video. I just figured if I try to save the file directly from photo booth, it might distort the quality or something. Uh, and I figured that most of you that would be using the camera from here, you probably wouldn't use it to make videos. You might essentially use it for FaceTime and Zoom calls and things like that. So I just wanted you to be able to see what I see on my end. Um, so this is directly the camera from the MacBook. The audio that you're hearing in this video is also directly from the MacBook. I don't have any exter external mics hooked up or anything. It's been a few days since I've had this laptop and I still love it. I have also um, been editing this video on the computer and it, it has not gone hot yet. It hasn't overheated. I haven't even heard the fans turn on yet. Uh, so I think that's pretty good. I love the color. I think the space gray looks really nice with the all black keyboard. I do think that the, I think that FaceTime on my phone looks a little bit better than on the MacBook. Um, just for reference, I have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. I don't know if that's maybe, you know, just because the iPhone has a smaller screen and maybe that's why it looks a little bit different. Um, but I figured I'd just point that out. But it's really not a complaint to be honest. I still think it looks good. Um, but yeah, no no complaints so far about this computer. I, I like everything about it. That's really all I have for this video. I just figured I'd check in, you know, give you some of my thoughts after having it for a few days. And I am going to insert a clip next of me uh, kind of just cleaning up the dog. It's going to be a screen recording. And yeah, that's that's really about it. All right, bye guys.
if you have any questions um, please feel free to let me know and yeah so thank you all for watching this video i'll see you guys next time bye